Jones. I did nothing. I did it for this. I did it for this. I did Shout out to Having Spits in the building. Yo. <laughs> Making sure that it sounds right and everything. Uh -huh. And so before I introduce our special guest, I just want to say thank you to everybody who tuned in to last week's episode, episode 11 with Loki. That episode is lit as fuck. Y'all need to make sure that you guys go watch it, like it, subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is WCW TV. Um, also, go check out the other episodes that we have available up one through, episodes one through 11 are up. So y'all make sure y'all tune in. And as for episode 12, <laughs> we have the boys, the homies, yep. Boss Made Records with a Z. <laughs> we got Mr. C and Eddie B. But we actually have somebody who's from, we have two people from a completely different state. Boys, where are you guys from? Let them know. Let the viewers know. H-Time, Texas, 713-713. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yo. If you ain't no he like you know. He ain't got his shirt off. Show them your shirt. Go show them your shirt real quick. Let's have show them the towels. We got towels in the motherfucking building. I was they, laid in the building. They don't, don't put the love spread out. Yeah. We, we, we think about it. everybody, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mom's yeah. made of pills, and we got shirts. You know what yeah, I got a shirt. I posted on my Instagram. Sweats, 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 tank top. Mom's made of pills. Hats and yeah. Yeah. snapbacks and all that. So y'all just said everything. Yeah, we're trying to be. Trying to be. Hey, we got to get it out there some way. Everybody else can afford billboards and shit. Yeah, 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 so. And actually apparel is a very smart thing to do because if you think about like a lot of hip hop entrepreneurs, that's what they do. They start their own clothing line. Because at the end of the day, you want to see that brand everywhere. Like, yeah, because it's a brand. So then like, I know when I see, because there's times that we go out on the street and then we, I see our stickers. Like when we're walking around, I'm like, what? That was us. <laughs> it was us. But it makes us feel amazing. Um, so tell me, how did you guys end up in Miami? I know you've been here for two years, yeah, and yeah. he's been here for six. So how did you, like, was it a mutual thing? Yeah, <laughs> shit, we came out here to do the show. Love the vibe so much, you know what I'm saying? We decided to make that jump. Okay. Uh, that's just a long, that's a long, that's short. Very short. <laughs> <That's enough. laughs> but, yeah, shit, yeah, it was, it was a mutual decision. Yeah. And then, so you've been here for six years, so how do you love, like, you have to love Miami, like? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, I picked up love everything. Yeah, I mean, Miami would do that to you. Hey, well, yeah, Miami is, yeah. Miami yeah. is Miami, that's all I can say. Yeah, Miami yeah, is Miami. Miami. <laughs> Miami. <laughs> Miami. If you've never been here, you just don't yeah. know. Exactly, but yeah. everybody. Yeah, because you were saying that you get homesick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 a Houston, you know what I'm saying? Houston through and through, you feel me? So, but yeah, Miami's been showing me love, so it is what it is. I'm out there. I roll with the punches. So, yeah. The crazy yeah. part is like, Miami show us more love with our music than our own city. That's what it was. Yeah, the thing is, is that here, we have such a, a wide audience of people. Like, yeah. because there's people that don't like a certain type of hip hop, and then there's some that don't love. Like, I know growing up, I listened to a lot of music from Houston like from H-Town, and then because they have something to do with like Houston and then like just the connections and then so having like my brother like just put me on game with like Chopped and Screwed. Like I know y'all are like are really popular with that. You guys actually have one of your songs Chopped and Screwed, right? Yeah, yeah, you got multiple songs You do? Yo, Chopped and Screwed is like the H -H 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 -H. <laughs> If you ain't, you know what I'm saying, Houston, yeah. That, that's more important to us than... Can you guys tell me like where like Chopped and Screwed came from? He's he just like, okay. yeah, okay, DJ Scoop, that's locked up, nah, nah, is that him? No, 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 that's what you're going to see, I think he's But I I know because I listen to like, Chopped up, not slapped up. That's what you're going to see. Salute to all you know what I'm But I would like to know like, where, like, who actually started it? DJ Screw. Okay. DJ Screw, that's why it's called Screw. Why like that? Yeah, tap, tap. Yeah, he put out a lot of a lot of stars and big names off of 
Yeah. I mean, I've heard that name before, so, you know, that's that's good that at least I've heard it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it took a minute to get out there, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's out there now, so. But the thing is, like, a lot of people don't know who, who DJ Screw is because of the simple fact is when Screw Music got popular, he was already gone. Yeah, he was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. he passed away. Rest in peace. Yes, rest in peace. So, you know, when everybody got a hang of it, it was Paul Wild and Michael Watts and, you know, everybody else, OG Run, C. So that's yeah. what everybody knows yeah, now. So but, like yeah, if you wouldn't, if you didn't know about it in '92 when it was first started jumping off, then also been around that long. Oh yeah, it's been, oh, it's been oh, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, yeah. and we've been sipping syrup and, and, and doing all of that since. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's what was. Like, is it supposed to be like how you feel or like the? Cause I. I listen to trauma school music high as fuck, <laughs> and it made me feel like, woo! <laughs> but really, uh, you know, like, you know, I don't mean it like that. I yeah. mean it like, you know, it's that way because they, they come from like drinking and syrup and stuff like that. That's, that's, that's a part of the culture. That's what you do when we, when we vibe. Yeah. Okay, that's how that's we a part. Of, that's a part of our East Side culture. Right? Yeah. Is it was really so people Hold could up. understand <laughs> what they were saying, like. You listen to music and sometimes people saying stuff too oh. fast and you can't understand what they're saying, so he slowed it down. That's you know what I'm saying? So you can understand the what they say. Exactly. But then it became a thing like, okay, it sounds pretty dope. Yeah, so yeah, it's 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 yeah. Cause I know and and some like even cause um I guess because of well, my brother, like I hear the influences that it has because like there's like chopping two different music and then from like even the other artists like Layback Sosa. Like Layback is from out here in Miami, but he has like that southern flow. Like, and it's because he grew up listening to music from the H-Town, from Atlanta, from things like that. So it's like the South. Yeah. So I'm really happy to have you guys here because Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate being here. Yeah. It's an honor to be here. And tell me, how did you guys start rapping? <laughs> uh, shit, basketball we got picked up the pen. Okay. Instead of going one way, you know, so I'm being destructive, but came to Kushner. Okay. And you play basketball? You play for high school? Yeah. College too. Hard to University. Hard to say division thing, but yeah. That's the best. We didn't work out, so like I said, people prepared. Came pushed up instead of being pushed up. That's the best. That's the best. And how old are you? If you don't mind me asking. You're thirty. You're thirty. Yeah. Okay. How old are you? I'm not even asking. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All good. I was gonna ask you anyway. <laughs> 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 I just say I'm a few years older than 30. Oh, I mean, I'm 28, so whatever. I mean, we're the same age. That's the That's the answer. Okay, so then, so then what is it that inspired you to start rapping? I've been doing music since the first Okay. Like, my pops was in the band. Like, he's, to this day, he still plays in a, in a live band. So. Okay. My mom used to sing back in the day, so I've always had that music in me. Like, growing up, I played the piano, saxophone, and stuff like that. Yeah. Shout out to pops and mom. Yeah. Good show. Real. My parents had to set this up, by the way. <laughs> Shout out to your parents, too. That's a blessing, you know. They, they are big blessings in what we do. So, but back to how, how I started this. But I think my first rap, I think we about I was like eight years old, nine years old. About a chicken McRib at McDonald's. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was my first rap. So you know, I always wanted to do that. That was just me. Music was always in me. So. When hip hop came out, I was like, "Hey, I can do that too." Oh. So, you know, with it, yeah. and it was very simple. And how did you guys end up like linking up? Oh, um, yeah, mutual. Hi. Yeah, see, see. I'm saying, yeah, see, 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 I'm sa
You know what I'm saying? Me and, me and the mutual friend, LC, you know what I'm saying? We was grinding with the beans, you know what I mean? Found out we took each other's rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a partner in the rap, you know what I'm saying? He's like, come to the show. Hey, I'm like, all right, cool. My boy Mr. C, I'm saying, did the damn thing. I said, yeah, I need a phone call. You know what I'm talking about? As soon as he got off the stage, that ball was his ass. You know what I'm talking about? Damn. Yeah, hey, man. I need to come to the, oh, yeah, I need to come to the studio. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't with our high mates. You know what I'm saying? Let's, 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 let's work it out. Come through. Where's the sister? From that day. And do you guys come out with like single projects or is like is it is both of you guys? Nah, I mean we solo artists, we just oh, okay, you know, solo artists. That's kind of like our uh, concept. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's easier to you know, no, get it's easier, easier, easier. more yeah. cost efficient for sure. Yeah, yeah. you know to try to promote two yeah. at one time versus no, put all your money into this one, promote this one, and put all your money into this one, promote this one. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. know. Just put it all together so everybody can know who they you can pick and choose, you know what I'm saying? When you're building your fan base, you know, your fans gonna pick and choose who they like the best anyway. Yeah. yeah. So that's gonna separate the whole thing. Yeah. Then when you got but now if we know, hey, you can drop this solo, I'm gonna drop my solo. Yeah. And it's just like when I first started out, the boss made started long, long time. Yeah. And it just grew, you know, it was I'm like the door, so they yeah, he, he's, 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 yeah. Fresh off the press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. See, I have my got. own thing going on when I'm right. in, you know what I'm saying? I'm a 100 fan, you know what I'm talking about? Make more, you know what I'm talking about? So, yeah. Yeah, he was doing their own thing. We was doing Boss Made, and it was about five of us at the time on the label. Yeah. And then, you know, people, you know, they separate ways, did their own thing. So, we were back there. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, you know, life handles, you know, that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know, we ain't the type of people gonna tell you, nah, you know, go this way, when we know that shit ain't right, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? So, we more try to inspire you to do the right thing, like, look, shit, if that's what you gotta do, if you got this happening in your life, if this is what you need to do, man, then go ahead and do that shit. You know what I'm saying? We still here, you still boss, mate. We just gonna keep the, you know, keep the show rolling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you gotta keep it moving until and then shit. Yeah. When yeah. things is yeah. right, you, you come on whenever you're ready. Come mm -hmm. on, come on. Mm -hmm. If you like stay and like wait for somebody, then you're like, it's like a train. When the train is going, you can't be making stops or like slowing down for people to come on the train. Like the train gotta go, the train going with you or without you. Yes, and that's how it comes to when it comes to doing music, to when you have your own record company when you're basically making boss moves. You know, when you're making boss moves, you don't have, because you're only as strong as you be just playing. You know yeah. what I mean? So you, and not that you're weak, it's just, no, you yeah, ain't got no. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they, they forever boss, Of course, man. Yeah, it's yeah, always, yeah. and it's, and yeah, it's always like, and that's, that, that's one of the things that um, I see as far as like in the music industry is just like, you don't really gotta be a, in the limelight, I guess, but you know you're still part of us. Yeah. You know you're still you're still our team, you're still our family, and all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. You know, yeah. it was just they had to put other situations just, ahead of the music. I was just fucking with you like, two weeks ago. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, I, 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 I was in H-Town. So, oh, you were, okay, so okay. now, if I when I go to H-Town, like, I need to know where to eat. <laughs> Ten <laughs> What is she a French man? Timmy Chan. What's that? Timmy Chan is like Chinese American food. You feel me? Okay. It's fried and yeah, hot. You know what I'm saying? That's that good shit right there. Timmy Chan is cooking. I'm cooking. French is across the street from TSU. If you want some real fire, yeah, yeah we we'll sell that shit for three blocks away. What is that? Like barbecue chicken. and like chicken? No, you, nah. you can get barbecue. You barbecue anyway. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know about yeah. Probably like anywhere else. Right there, barbecue. Who? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, got, they got barbecue there, but. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that barbecue. I'm gonna talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. If they ain't from Texas, I ain't touching. Oh, okay. So yeah. I was just yeah, like, yeah, I've yeah, never yeah, been yeah, there, so I don't yeah. know. Did you have an experience there? Okay, so in Texas, so the barbecue, obviously, they, you guys have like that southern, that southern tang. Yeah, you know, that's another thing. I see, I see both food shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One day, one day we're gonna throw that party and we're gonna invite y'all with that barbecue. I'm sure y'all gonna get out of here. They know how to cook down there. They know how to cook down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. So you said, what was your spot, Timmy? Timmy Chen. Timmy Chen. Timmy Chen. And yours? 
Francis. Y'all got take notes. Yeah, we gonna we gonna get that boys. You gonna get that two piece wine nope. dinner with them fries and a roll. <laughs> nope. And a drink for three ninety nine. What? Okay, okay. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. You know I'm, I'm gonna give you a wing dinner with shrimp fried rice. You know what I'm saying? About four ninety nine. What? No. Yeah, no, and that's right. like now. That's how like but right. But see, I like them like I think right now, probably. Dang, guys, we're gonna have to make a trip. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the first song. Um, we're gonna do do that because I love that song. Do that. <laughs> like, do that. like we can do, do that. that. Can you guys talk to me a little bit about that song? Mm. <laughs> this is the mastermind behind that song. I was asleep. <laughs> yeah, I wake up. He going off. Do that, that. Yeah, mm. that's how that happened. I was just up one night and, and I couldn't think of nothing else but do that. Mm. You know, do that there. Hey, you know, do that. And that's, I, I just rolled with it. I come in, I he, he already recorded these things. I come in and I hop on, you know what I'm saying? Might say he wanted to go back and forth type of shit. He said, man, hey, I need you on that bitch. I said, oh yeah? He said, I need you on that bitch. I said, okay. <laughs> so while he was while he was doing this thing on the mic, I was over there. Well, uh, it ain't right as I but I'll tap tap on the mic, I'm a memo pad, you feel me? And get it in. But yeah, I'm vibing with the headset on, you doing the thing, and you finished, I was ready. That's yeah. awesome. I like the way you do we that, yeah. Hey. That's how we talk, like, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. how we talk any motherfucking way, so. Yeah. Doing that though was easy. <laughs> yeah, like I remember the first time that I had seen y'all at Miami Live. And we'll talk a little bit more about that when we come back. But the first time I had seen y'all at Miami Live, that's what I noticed because Kay said, oh, they from Houston. So when I heard this song, I was just like, bro, this shit is Houston and Miami right now. Like, this is so dope because it has that feel that like, you know, I don't know. Because I got like, um, I guess I like that flow. Like how, and then how it feels and then like the, yeah. You know, way back. You like to, and then also like you can from from being out here, we you know what I'm saying we we mellow that each time to that Miami. Yeah, it you know does have saying? that like because we yeah, we came from our first time that. being out here. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Like that. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so welcome back. That was do that by the boys, Mr. C and Eddie B. Shout out to them. You know. Coming from H Town, teaching me so much the lingo. <laughs> what were the two things? You guys taught me um, two different things. What were they? Square business. Oh, Square right? business. And T Jones. And T Jones. <laughs> okay. So what does Square business mean? Square business means either I ain't playing with you or I agree with you. <laughs> Squad business. And then Jones. <laughs> yeah. See Jones and your mama. That's your mama. Yeah, your mama. Because we were saying that. See Jones, see lady. Yeah. Yeah. And then what was it that y'all saying like, oh, watch out, my T Jones coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold that down. Hold that down. Hold that down. Man, see Jones come. See Jones come. Because in Miami, it's the old lady. Yeah. Old girl. Old girl. Old girl. Yeah. Old, girl. Like old, girl. <laughs> old lady is your is your woman. Like yeah. that's your that's your girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like that's kind of crazy. Like I remember yeah. when first hearing that, I was like, I guess. Uh. Yeah, yeah, that was a hell of an experience for me. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I'm talking to a chick. I'm talking. I'm like, so you know, me and my old man going to the jazz and the gardens and shit like that. She like your old man. I'm like, yeah, my old man. Yeah, I had to make sure I had my shit so they could see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Tough Family Shinar, episode 12. Oh, it's In the motherfucking building. We got employees here. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Y'all follow that ball play. So, I actually met you guys at Miami Live. So, I did want to talk to you guys about that. Shout out, shout out. Because, hello, that's where I met y'all. So, tell me, how did you guys end up um, starting to perform at Miami Live? Nice show. Hell no. Nice show. He passed you. He passed you. So, out of you. We got to get Yeah, yeah. I was getting paid. Actually, yeah. we kind of stumbled up on Miami Live. Okay. We stumbled up on Miami Live. And it was only because it was one of the first shows that I seen out here that was on the weekend. Okay. Open mic zone on the weekend, and that was, you know, best for our skip business. Definitely. So, yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, we, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got to pay them motherfucking bills. Miami Live was the weekend for yeah. you guys. Okay, that makes a lot of sense because if you work a nine to five, you've got to be up a little early. You know, you can't be. And then yeah. usually in this music industry, you, you're all late. Yeah. Because on Saturday, what time are you getting home? Like, you know, three o'clock, four o'clock. Depends on that Saturday. It didn't yeah. stop. It didn't stop with us, though. You know what I'm saying? We performing through the week. True. Yeah. In Miami Live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, when we first started Miami Live, we were every day of the goddamn week. Thursdays, Saturday. Oh, so how long? When, when did you guys start performing on Miami Live then? It's been a couple of years. Oh, yeah. Miami Live show, man, look. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man, Shout out to Shia. I, I got DJ myself Kiki. there on the stage in my life. You know what I'm saying? 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 You know I forgot the name of that. The body? The body. The body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, uh, whatever. It was another one. The body. One of them that was Killer K. Oh, man. 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 Oh, and so you guys have performed at other places. Um, tell me about the other experiences that you guys have had in those other places. You know how far back you want to go, like before Miami, man, we did. Cause you guys, okay, so where else have you guys performed then? Uh, we performed in El Paso, San Antonio, New Mexico. Uh, Everywhere. Miami. Miami. Okay. Little small towns, just show the world. Little bit of small country yeah, towns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Performing a lot of different places. I can't even, I'm looking at a video right now, I can't even tell you, I can't remember where that place was at. You know, yeah, you know? that was at, that's when we opened up for, uh, that's when we opened up for Bun B. Yeah, that was, I can't remember where that place was at. Twice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 twice. I love Bun B. You know, you, your voice looks to remind me of him. Like a lot of that, for real. That's an honor, for real. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, anything if you need to UK, shit, that's an honor. I love yeah, that. That's sure. that, oh like, okay. one of the main groups from the South that I look up, that, that I even mimic a little bit in my in my rhymes. Uh, yeah. Like, cause I'm, I try to be me. Mm -hmm. Everything I do, wow, we but, you have but I have a major influence from in GK. Like, yeah, no doubt. Um, so and no doubt. Yeah. yeah. So who would you say like? Cause okay, so we have you GK. Who else would you say influenced your guys' music? Like growing up, who were you listening to? Okay. Oh, yeah. we, we, we can start naming them. And then hopefully you can know a little bit. Some of them. You might not know none of these. Yeah, bro. you might not know like most of them. And now you just like, me on me. Say, I like that. <laughs> and say like You wanna know, uh, start 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 from S U C Zero. You got uh your Kiki. Trey Flip. Trey Pump Lil Flip. Fat Mo. Fat. Yeah. Man, <laughs> so long. Oh, oh. And 
Yes, yes, from one side. That's from the and screwed then, up click yeah, side. Screwed up click. Yeah, that's you know, not as, even. As I got older, new new generation, the H time niggas came marching up the pod wall for me. You know what I'm saying? 50 50 twin. You know what I'm saying? Killer Cali on. You know what I'm saying? Zero kill from as you see all the way into that era. You know what I'm saying? Trade. Shit, J-Town, man, it's motherfuckers. But that's, that's the youth. Devin the dude, I can't yeah, believe, yeah. I can't believe that dude's face. Devin the dude's face. Yeah, Fuck ghetto you know boy. Fucking, you know what I'm saying, uh, K-Reno. Yeah, yeah. K-Reno, ghetto boy. Yeah. Street military, you know, the faculty. It's, yeah. it's, it's, wow. a, it's a lot of them, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of them. It is a lot of them. So, but you know what I'm saying, that's, that's, that's what we grew up on. And what about, um, like outside, outside influences. Of Houston. Yeah, because like that to me, like that's amazing because. Big Creek. Oh, I love yeah. him. Big Creek. I should have been in concert. J. Cole. Luda. Luda's dope. Yeah. Got flow. Mm. Uh, yeah. 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 Outcast. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Um, A-Ball and J.G. Yes. For sure. Yes. They're dope too. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's it's a couple of them, but they, they, they all got that really good stuff. Yeah, because yeah, it, it all has to do with the South. Yeah. And it like, correlates with each other. And then it's like, we're all basically from the South. It's just, we're all just from the different sides of the South. We're different yeah. parts of the hey, South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe it. Yeah. Oh, yes. No doubt. No, I can't believe <laughs> that. Trail, it's too many. You know, it's, it's too many. And the thing is that I grew up listening to them too. Like from being from out here, like I would listen to a lot of those artists. I would also listen to a lot of like New York artists and then some Cali yeah, artists. It's just, like, you know. Jay, Nas, yeah. Wu Tang. It's a couple more. I like Megan Man. Yeah, Megan Man go hard. Man, fabulous. Fab for sure. <laughs> Jaded kids. kids. Yeah, yeah, kids. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys heard about like what happened with Fab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I, I'm just talking about rap. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Right, 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 right. I respect that, but it is a little crazy. <laughs> We're not here for the jokes. Shout out to Fab. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, it's dope as fuck. Yeah, it's dope as fuck. But yeah, no, so like, because I like Jay-Z, and then there's like some Chicago rappers like Common that I like a lot. Common, um, yeah, Twister. Twister's dope as fuck. Yeah. Twister, like old school Twister too, like. Yeah. Anything to get on though. I fuck with E4. E4. Yeah, it's so yeah. Forever. 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 Um, he had just come out with like a new project. So every time, when I, everywhere that we would go, like in that time in Cali, it was like banging his album. And it's like, damn, bro, yes. Yeah, this yeah. is what it feels like being home. Whole album. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, whole album. Like on the radio, like playing his shit. And this is just like out here, he doesn't get that same type of love. It's like, who's being 40? Like, what you mean, who's being 40? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, 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 that's the whole, like, yeah. man, they had to hustle. Man. My own. Sick with the records. Yes, oh. like, oh, uh, I love him. <coughs> I love him. Um, okay, so we've talked about, I know you guys like are into sports, because you play basketball. Did you play any sports um, growing up? Yeah, I played basketball. You played basketball. Oh, okay, cool. That's what's up. Okay, so who, who, who y'all team? A-Town. Texas. A-Town. Rockets. Rockets, Texas, Astros, like Dynamo. Green Bay. Okay. I like Green Bay Packers. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Texas. Yeah, I ain't got no outsiders. Texas. Damn. Can't stand the Cowboys. Oh, you know it. Can't stand the fucking Cowboys. Yeah, if you a Cowboy fan, call oh, 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 right them. Fuck them Cowboys. Mm -hmm. It's real. This is so <laughs> amazing. <laughs> but the thing is, is that, like, for me, like, I feel that way about the 49ers. Yeah. I'm a Raiders fan. Oh, uh, uh, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So it's just like, okay. I, don't, I don't got time for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, you know, that's how I feel. There's, and there's some other teams that I feel that way about. Um, But so then that's football. And then you guys said, um, Houston Rockets. Rockets. Yeah, I have been about James Harden, like, going to y'all team. Since he's been yeah, yeah. But with, yeah, with, with, the Rockets, with the Rockets, though. You know what I'm saying? Since the last one, no, that's what. No, but like, of course. Yeah, because it's, it's where you're from. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. 
You know, like so, um, you know what I'm saying? Him and Portland was off the chain. We thought we had some um, McGrady, you know what I'm saying? He stayed hurt. So getting yeah, getting so. getting hard was, so. was, was was a blessing, you feel me? Yeah. Shouts out Rocky Then they slid that you know, C P three down there. That was that, yeah. that's what wrapped it up. Yeah, we finna get it this yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. They gonna get that right. Y'all ain't get that right. We finna get it this year. Let's, let's go. Nobody holding you down. Let's go. Let's go. So y'all y'all confirmed it. Confirmed. Let's go. 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 Let's we just forgot about the winning champs. Boss Man is putting a stamp on that. Hey, it's time. They hurt right now. Hey, hey, they're going to follow right behind what the Astros did. Yes, yeah. sir. You know what I'm talking about? Team, baby. Oh, I'm talking about. Boss Man, Rockets, Astros, hey. Texas. Say your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And episode 12. Yeah. 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 Okay, so because I know that Boss Man has like a meaning to it. Can you please like talk right. to me oh, yeah. about that, please? Oh, yeah. No doubt. All right, Boss Man. No See, yeah, 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 and depend on yourself. You can't depend on nobody else to mm -hmm. make things happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to make that happen Appreciate on your you. own. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it, being a boss is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody at the time, you know, we did, we came up with boss made. It was long before the Rick Ross was saying boss, Post Slim Thug was saying boss, long before all of that. And, you know, boss became the whole the whole the fan you know everybody i'm a boss i'm a boss so like look it needs to mean something you know what i'm saying so why not you know being observing and self-sufficient you know we observe our surroundings we observe our situations yeah. you know what i'm saying and we do what we can ourselves to make the most out of that situation mm -hmm. as a boss i fuck with that yep <laughs> observe yourself sufficient boss mate. i like that shit um something that that you guys are very like advocates about is just like about smoking weed. I'm hearing the song. That's the next song that we're gonna actually be playing. So talk to me, not just about the song, but talk to me about like where that came from. I like don't the say whole no activism, but yeah. Smoking yeah, we dabble and dabble in the goddamn you know field a little bit. And um, I ain't gonna say I'm an activist. Yeah. activist but yeah. I am. A, I'm a connoisseur. I am a connoisseur. See. Of the natural life, you understand what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with the organic. Yeah. yeah. So, I love I that y'all like light a blunt when you guys perform that song. <laughs> I love that y'all. I mean, that. I don't know where that came from, but shit. It was so smooth with it. Like, it was in some type of way that one night. Yeah. That and then shit up on the side. And then shit, the crowd reacted to that bitch. So it became a routine. It became a part of the, the, the show. And then what happens when like you go to a spot that you can't smoke and you like Man, <laughs> I don't know how that thing, you feel me? But you know that hurts. It's the part of performance. Right? But it's still a good song, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. good. Because I, I've seen a footage of y'all um doing it at places that you can't smoke inside. Yeah. So and then it's it's the same but it just doesn't have that same that like same effect. like fuck this shit. I'm yeah. smoking my weed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you guys have a, a chop and screw version of that song as well. Yeah. yeah. Right. Are you guys feeling really y'all doing good? I like to make sure that my home, you know, my guests are having a good time oh, yeah, enjoying themselves for the first time here, episode 12. Thank you guys for being here. You guys are being part of a story. You know, this is, this is like, this is very special to me because this is something that I've always wanted to do. Like, okay. I've always wanted to host radio shows um, and just do that. And then, like, it kind of took a time in my life that I wasn't doing it and I was chasing something else. And then, so to be able to do this is just, like... It's amazing. So to have you guys here means a lot because of that. Because this was just a, once a dream that is now becoming a reality. So you know what I mean. So thank you guys for being here. I'm thank so excited. You. Like, I, like it was. It was <laughs> no, it definitely was. And I just wanted to express that gratitude because it's something that I feel that it's important for you guys to also know. Like you know, we fuck with you guys. That's we really appreciate you guys coming here and stuff. So, so we have an ongoing question on the ambition hour. Okay, and I don't know. Are you guys? <laughs> you just gave me a look, like, girl, what you about? 
<laughs> no, it's, it's not. It's not the grapes. Okay, so do y'all like grapes? Drake, that's, that's kind of a Drake, <laughs> you got a day in, in, in. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, you want to go first or go? No, tell me. You I need to go now. You got me to do. Okay. You got me to do. Drake, 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 Drake is talented. talented. He's talented, yeah. but I'm not a Drake fan. You're not a Drake fan. So if I were to ask you, like, which two of these albums you guys would like, you guys wouldn't really like? I don't even know. I probably don't even know, know the title of it. For real? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just well, know singles on the radio. God's God playing. playing God's playing. God's playing. God's with his dad. Like, like, were you guys there that night? I'm not, like, successful. Like, yeah, him and Timberlake. 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 Like, you know what I'm saying? I, it's, he got he got gems, no doubt. He just, I'm just not a fan. Like, I, mean, I ain't knocking him. He, he cool. That's He's good not. because that's like the whole thing about it because not everybody's going to like that artist. Like, just because you guys don't like Drake, that doesn't change right. you guys as people. It don't change you guys as artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, hey, He's good. Like, he, exactly. He's awesome. He's talented. He's talented. He's talented. He's not a fan. Yeah, exactly. So that's basically the question real quick. So for those of that you are watching, if y'all want to answer it and just like comment in the in the bottom, you know, our subscribers, shout out to y'all. Um, you guys can just go ahead and put which one it is. Um, the ongoing question is actually just which album is better? Which one do you like? Which is Take Care or Nothing Was The Same? My vote is Take Care. I mean, Nothing Was The Same. I'm not just going to change that. Take <laughs> Hobbs, Care. Hobbs is Take Care and so is Fitz. Take Some care. of the other artists that have come on the show have like the other ones. So well, mine right now. I'm gonna have to say Legendary by Zero. <laughs> Zero, man. I don't like, know. I can't answer that question. No, no, exactly. That's the thing. I, I need to know what y'all I didn't know what single was on that song and what single was on that album. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I can answer that thing. For sure. That's other, than that, other than the album names of Drake, I don't know. Okay, so who is that y'all talking about? <laughs> Zero. Zero. Okay, so I He's need to listen to him. You, you, you what you mean? Yeah. You need to listen to him. Yeah, you listen to him. Then you sleep. Zero. I'm like, Z dash R O. And where he's he from? Around, man. Oh, that's Fucking sick, man. I'm talking about he, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Anything you've been through, he gonna touch it. Rap inside. Some kind again. of way. Oh, yeah. Some kind of I way. I feel like we need to, I need to Wrote the band, Charles. Yeah. The what? Wrote the band. It, it, it's okay. others along that too, but oh, if I'm. Yeah. And then, so there's some other artists that I should be putting, put, like, you know, be listening to from, and they're from all from H Town, from Houston. Yeah. Corey Moe. Yeah, Corey Moe. Yeah, Devin the Dude. I've heard of Devin the Dude. He's yeah. he's pretty cool. I've heard him in some of the songs that like I've just listened to, and like I have heard his voice. Yeah, so, and then so tell me about Kiki. Okay, you because you you mentioned Kiki more than one time, so Kiki. you really like it. <laughs> Don't uh, Kiki. Oh my God, I feel like I, I need to listen to this. Kiki. No. <laughs> Kiki, you gotta look them up. I'm gonna have to look these artists up because I really like I'm listening to new music. What was it though? What was it? Chunk up the deuce? Yeah. I chunk up the deuce for the mouth and stuff. Yeah. I chunk up the deuce for the mouth and the soft. No, I don't. I feel like I have to hear this shit. Y'all just put me on some game. I like that. Like, that's one of the things that, um, I like about this show is that people come in and they put they put me on some certain music that I haven't heard because I have music that I love to listen to. There you go. That's that's what it is. Yeah. Yes, that's him. Who's that? That's that's the DJ. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like that beat. You don't like anything like from Kiki. That's so cool. But yeah, man, I'm a little biased because. My my favorite rappers talk about what's going, what, what's happening. Okay, Reno. Yeah, like we we where we from, we big on rap what you live. Like don't rap, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and shit. Yeah. Well, we from, get caught out on it. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering what happened to Mike Jones. <laughs> that, that's what happened to Mike Jones. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> You got to live what you're talking about. Yeah. All right. So you and little kids be saying something on mm, That's probably why some of the songs that you guys have, it's kind of, it's like what you guys are living. 
It's not like fake. It's not. And that's the office authenticity. Authenticity. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I think that's what catches people. That, yeah, that's that's what catches people on the and that aspect in your music. Um, lets it connect it to different people, to where people are gonna want to gravitate towards it, and that's what you want. Because yeah. you want people to listen to it and then to relate to it. Because somebody that doesn't relate to something that like like trapping and shit, like people yeah. like it. But, and then you have people who lie about it. Yeah. It's kind of just like, right. damn, like, you yeah. cool as fuck, like, your flow is dope, but then you're lying stuff. about it. Yeah. Most of them just lying about it. Most of them just lying about it. And, like, yes. why pretend to be somebody you're not? Because you know, we was always brought up to be, you know, be yourself, be who you are. Yeah. yeah. And me personally, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. If you like what I say, I love you, man. But if you don't fuck you too, yeah. it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, I'm not doing this for you anyway. It's this is how I feel personally. Anyway, this is my music. This is coming from me. Mm-hmm. If you like it, that's because nine times out of ten you've been through that same experience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you can't relate to it, then you know what I'm saying. You, naturally, you're not gonna like it. You're not gonna feel it. You're gonna have some type of you know crazy reaction about it. But I still don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just. Yeah, the end of the fucking day. <laughs> so I got really excited because they, they allowed me to pick the next song that we're going to be playing. We have H Town Stunt. It was between H Town Stunt and Timeline, right? Yeah. Okay, so I know that you guys like both of them because you guys can decide. So I get to choose the one that we're going to play. Yeah. And I really don't because I like both of them. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really, yeah, and I've okay. heard that I'm because I'm listening to this one, and then I had heard the other one earlier, and then I remember hearing y'all spit it. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna play the H Town stunt now to end the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then for the after hours, we'll go ahead and put the timeline. Cool. Okay? Alright, that's what we're going to do. So this is H-Town Stunt by Mr. C. So I just want to say, again, thank you guys for coming. Can you please go ahead and plug in your Instagrams and your SoundCloud, your YouTube? Because I know y'all got videos. This is a time where y'all plug all your shit, your new shit that's coming out, everything. Go ahead, listen. Because it's easier for y'all to read it than for me to say it because y'all might think I'm saying something different. Boss Made. And that's Boss Made Records with a Z Z, on Instagram. Boss Made underscore records (laughs) with a Z. Underscore. That's not a space. That's an underscore. (laughs) Underscore. This is the Ambition Hour. I'm Adi 3000. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. All of y'all who were on SoundCloud, YouTube, I appreciate y'all. This is Boss Made Records with a Z. Mr. C and Eddie B. Have a sit in the the studio. Hey, (laughs) you